Okay, welcome to the WoW Tea Party, the home for WoW enthusiasts who also enjoy a nice warm beverage. That's our new line for the show. I really like that one. Yeah. That's definitely your best. Um, my name's James, and I'm here with my co-host, Heather. Hello. Okay, so uh, we got a good show. We went to a coffee shop and planned it, especially for people. Yes. For our five listeners. Yes. We've actually had some comments on the channel recently, haven't we? I mean, have we even got on five the YouTube listeners? Channel? I don't think we've even got five. Well, the four. But one of them commented last time. Yes. Uh, he gave quite a confusing message, so shout out to the confusing message guy. Yeah. He's, he said something on my, on my law videos. He said, ha ha, hilarious law videos, but stop trying to be funny. So, mixed messages. No, 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 that's not what he said. He said, ha ha ha. What was it? Really, really like these because they're funny, but try to yeah. keep it serious. But don't be funny. Yeah. So, that's the type of thing you get, <laughs> you know, on, on YouTube. <laughs> I'm, I was just... I'm just quite confused. I wasn't even sure whether to appro- approve it, but I just thought, well, he said a nice thing at least. Most sort of it's of. just like hate. It was half nice. Like, why are you even alive? That's most of the comments. So. Yeah, one of them was, yeah, are, are you dead? Yeah, are you dead? I didn't didn't feel the necessity to reply because <laughs> no, no death here. But no. anyway, good show. What's coming up? We love Heather? we love the people who comment. Please comment. Yes, please comment, but not confusing ones try and keep it clear and um, clear yeah yes right <laughs> what's coming up what have we got okay so we're going to be doing wow poo or cow poo um was it the first yes. time on our last podcast that we did that that was that that was a f- uh yes because we're, we're do- doing it at the start of the show this time wow poo or cow poo for people who don't know is the show where i'll give you a piece of knowledge you know hoping to educate people educate um, me educate Heather mainly because you know I'm pretty it's not that your knowledge is bad shit. but it's just terrible no, yeah exactly so yeah we go through a, bit of, a few um, law nuggets and things like that and then you have to discuss uh, to discuss that's not a word <laughs> um, to decide whether it's a real thing or not so if it's wow poo that's a real thing cow poo is not yeah so we'll do that game first yes and then get get us into the swing of the show. Then what? Yeah, just get us all warmed up and everything. And then we're going to go into the wow news. Um, and we've got quite a bit actually. So um, yeah, we're going to be talking about the new in-game cinematics that have come out, uh, which are pretty cool. Uh, the spoilers mainly. Uh, then we're going to be talking about the time. No, yeah, but no, we're not. We're not talking about spoilers. No, we're not. We're just yeah. going to discuss around them, not give yeah, away any spoilers because some people possible. hate that. So, so don't, don't worry. worry. If I do uh, yeah. manage to slip something out, um, then we'll bleep them. Slip something out. I'll, I'll yeah, it'll, make it'll sure be we fine. yeah edit um, them out. So we're going to be talking about those. Then we're going to be talking about the Titan cancellation, which I'm sure everybody knows about. But we're going to talk about that. And then we're going to be talking about our issue of the week. And then we're going to move on to our second yes. uh, game, which is called Wow Rhyme Time, which we did last uh, on our last podcast as well. Now, we should say, these games, saying them in like you know a content section like we're doing, they sound really crap, but they are actually okay. And it's something you can play along with at home, so don't just... Be like, oh god, what are they doing? Yeah, please, just please listen. play along just and tell us. us how you did. Because you're obviously going to do better than me. Um, but play along because it's good fun. Yeah. It is quite funny just to listen to how bad you are, Heather. Cheers. And no offence is meant by that. And we... <laughs> um, don't break up with me. But uh, I am pretty shocking. You know, wow knowledge. Yeah. But we're improving yeah. all the time. So. Yes. So... So it's helping. Let, let's get down so to it. So let's break let's into it. To... Oh, wait, no, but there's so much more. You just have to listen to the show and you'll find out how yes. much we've got jam packed into the show. Let's get to it. There, there we go. <laughs> Plug. Right, so, um, Wow Poo versus yes. Cow Poo, are you ready? Have no. you had more of your lemon and ginger Give tea? Me a Activated your brain cells? Are you having a sip? Twinings. We may or may okay. not edit this bit out. Go for it. Twinings. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, so the first one. You ready uh, to be always, humiliated? Apparently. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, so... Yes. You know Garrosh? Not personally. And Gromash? His dad? You know who Gromash is? This isn't part of Thank it, but... Thank you. Yes, his dad. Very good. Improving, see? Right. Garrosh and Gromash's legendary axe is called Gorefowl. Gorefowl. Waupu or Kaupu? Fowl, sorry. Gorefowl. So where's your logic? Let's let's listen to the logic. Gorefowl. Gorefowl is the legendary axe that they use. It is in the trailer. It's in the it's in the I think it's I don't in the trailer. Know what it's called, though. Mm. But yeah, and and you can actually get it as at the end mm. of Siege of Orgrimmar as uh, an as an Now, do you know that the, that actually I might be talking. Shit, I don't know if you can actually get that. I think I've heard people talking about that, but yeah. Mm. Well, I know that they do have an axe, which is a good start. Um, yeah. I can imagine it is pretty right. legendary. Uh, well, yeah, it's it's just that axe, and after in the in the original timeline where Gromash gets killed, he ends up handing it on mm. to Garrosh. Uh, but in this new one, there might be two. Gorefowls, because um, they, you know, he's gone. And his daddy lives. Garrosh has gone back in time. S somehow got his. I don't know if he went back in time with his axe though. Oh, so that's a good point actually. Two Gorefowls. Well, that axe was the one that sliced through that demon's head, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, Manoroth, very good. Well, it's got mm. gore in the name, and that was pretty gory. There was loads of green, green blood and yep. shit. Gory. Yeah, that was pretty gory. Good logic, I like um, it, yeah. And you've mentioned it when you were explaining it, so I'm going to say it's Wow Poo. Yep. I think so. So it's Wow Poo, so it's true. Shit. I'm afraid it's false. It's Gore. It's Gore Damn Howl. <laughs> yeah, so the logic was sound, oh, but I just changed one up. letter. I'm sorry, but I didn't want you to get full marks, and this easier, week they are a bit easier. easier. So okay. that one's probably the hardest one. So I'm I'll... sort of right. Okay, you ready for next one? So damn it. Yeah, not out of one so far. Right, next one. Not to rub it in or anything. So the Drenai originally fled. Do you remember me saying in my law videos that they originally fled yep. from the planet Nexus yep. to get to Drenor? Um. From to get to Drenor. Wait, have I got this the wrong way around? You're supposed to be telling me. Yeah, <laughs> they fled from. Sorry, they fled from Nexus yeah. to get to Drenor. Kalpu or Kalpu? Be because Nexus Why? isn't World of Warcraft. It is Starcraft. What uh, is not it? Starcraft. What's it called? Fuck! I always forget the name uh, of the game. Oh, we'll have to bleep Sorry. that out. It's supposed to be a child-friendly show. <laughs> yeah, Nexus is Wildstar. Wildstar, yeah, you're right. Uh, well done. I didn't think you. I didn't think you remember Nexus. Do you remember the actual planet name that they fled from? The Space Goats. Um. Your silence Sorry. is so entertaining for the listeners. No, uh. I can't remember. Have fun, e have fun editing. <laughs> no, it's a tough one. I didn't one. know that. It's Argus, originally. No. They were from Argus, and then mm -hmm. they fled there because of the Burning Legion. Yeah. Who started wrecking the place. And then they went to Drenor, and then when they were being bullied there, they moved they again to Azeroth. They had a good time, Azeroth. they? I feel sorry they're, for them. No, they're not having fun. But they've got really pretty they ships. They are very pretty. You know, so they've got they're nice that. and glowy. Yeah, so they'll be like, oh, we keep getting kicked off planets. Yeah, but we've yeah, got pretty ships. Oh, yeah, pretty, pretty ships. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But look at, no, just ships, look at the though. ships. Stop crying. Look at our ships. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. So you got that one right. One point. Well done. Okay, so Thrall. Um, that wasn't always his name, you Was know. Was it not? 
I think so. I Did think you, you know mentioned that? this the other day. Okay. His birth name, and he rejected the name Thrall because I didn't really, I couldn't be bothered reading it all. Um, but it was something to do with, like, he was sort of a slave, and so he cast off the name of Thrall to go with his birth, birth name, which was Kalil. Complete Wow poo or cow poo. I'm sorry, but Thrall's not <laughs> Superman. Why? Are you joking? Way, well done. <laughs> God, you're getting Thank good you. on you, on your geek knowledge. But it is close, because oh, really? his birth name oh, is Goel. Yeah, which I thought Kalel Go Golel. He's gonna. I think in the next back. one, he's. We're gonna find out that could, could Superman's be. like his brother. Goel, meet your brother Kalel. So yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, um, Superman's I name back home that. is Kalel. In his original birth, but, well, there might be some. There might be the chance that. One of the people's listening. Well, like one of the four. People who's listening is like grandparent, who's just fallen on our channel and <laughs> can't switch it off. Like, how do I get to stop the speaking? <laughs> it's hurting uh, my ears. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're the majority of our views. Just people who yeah. like stumbled on. Like, I can't <laughs> click it off. So I've got two out of three. Right, next yeah. one. Yeah, doing well. Well, no. I need. I think I need to make these harder because. You do. You get like four out of five every week. You say you're rubbish. Okay. Right. Let's get it moving. Um, okay. So, um, is this mm -hmm. correct? The Titan Project this week uh, was revealed to actually be a game where you do mundane jobs like admin during the day, and then you go on adventures and dungeons and whatever Can't at night. Do. Kaupu, why? Why would you do mundane tasks in the day and then go dun like dungeon raids at night? Surely you'd be able to do what you want when you want. Yeah, but they said that it wasn't a game that it, you know they wanted to I know they said it, it wasn't up to scratch, but it's not like a housewife game. No. Well, that's actually wow poo. Yes. Well, I, I exaggerated a bit with the admin, but you you would do. Apparently, their plan was during the day, um, during the day in that game, you'd do like profession type stuff, and then at night you'd go fight monsters. And that this is you know has all come out since they no said way. that they're Why dropping would you want Project Titan. So. Stuff? I don't know. I think overall, like, as it because mm. it's it's a game that people haven't seen before. Like they were trying to do something really original, so maybe when it was finished, it was really good, but they closed it down I for mean, a I reason. I think there's a reason, so. like other game companies haven't done a game like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I you just have go a to mundane work, job as home. it is. I don't want to come back and have a mundane yeah. gameplay. And then you go out and fight mon, go out and fight monsters, and then you. You're too tired the next day to go to work, and then your life just spirals into a <laughs> depressive hole. Amazing. Great game. That's that's really surprising. Yeah. Right, so... So, two won and two lost. Right. Last one. Okay. See if you can get this one. It's the best one. Oh, don't say that. Never get this. Okay. So, did you know yes. the Brawlers Guild... Um, the Brawler's Guild okay. season is coming to the end. Well, coming to an end. Um, so it's finishing this week, and there's going to be a gap before WAD, but they wanted to fill the gap, so instead of the Brawler's Guild, in that location they're creating the Poetry Society. Okay. Okay. The Poetry Society. Chris Metzen has said about it that they, um, in, with this feature, they wanted to go in a different direction and this is a feature to which they have given much affection right I can never okay. imagine so the medicine say poetry that. society it's a different direction and they're giving great affection that's something you've made up and I can even hear hear in your voice no, that you can't keep a, a straight face that's a, 
I can hear it. I can hear it. <laughs> That's a direct quote. Poetry Society, different direction. There's give him much no affection. way that is cow poo. What do you that think? That has to be cow poo because I can hear, like, <laughs> it's weird because I can hear your face. <laughs> Just like waiting to burst out laughing. <laughs> you know. It's cow poo. Yeah, we spend too much time together. Well done. They're not creating a poetry <laughs> society in the interlude. Go from fighting to poetry. So. You like you like I Sherlock. How did you figure that one out? Pride myself in that. Yeah. Should be in CSI. Right. So that's the first of the game out of the way. You got um, three oh, points. A bit good, three actually. out of five. So I'm pretty sure that's probably a tie with last last time. I don't know. I'm sure the listeners will be able to. Uh, Correct us on that. <laughs> yeah, if we ever get another comment. stopped all comments from, from now on. Nobody will want a comics in case we say anything. <laughs> yeah. Right, so we we'll move yeah. sail on into the news. Right, so, uh, first item of, of news. You watch the in game cinematic. Some people spoilers. aren't watching them because of the spoilers. Basically, for anyone who doesn't know, Blizzard at the end of each zone is gonna have a nice little mm -hmm. cutscene for you know when you finish it, gets everyone into the lore, and I, they're, they're pretty really cool, cool in my I like opinion. Them. I do yeah, like what them. What did you think? I think it's, it's you like them because we saw the actual um, trailer like the other week. It's um, it's a lot different. Yeah. This is just because I'm like Mrs. Negativity. Mm. We we had some. Positives yes, and did. negatives about the trailer, didn't we? I actually like these more than the cinematic Dear. trailer. I'm going to be way, well, way there's, controversial there's three, and say that. There's three different styles going on at the moment, isn't there? There's the the trailer, which which was like um, really yeah. cool, really detailed, um, with tiny little eyes, um, and then there's been the um, yeah, the tiny little eyes. That what the orbs? Creepy. Tiny little eyes. Um, then there's these oh, in-game cinematics yeah. that have come out. The spoilers, and then there's been the mm. um, Lords of War as well, haven't there? hasn't there? So there's been like three different styles going on. Um, yeah. But these these um, in-game cinematics, I think, are really good because the graphics are really good in them. Mm. They're really um, detailed. You don't expect it at all. Um, yeah. Where. With the other ones, it's just sort of people moving in sort of wow motions, doing weird runs and stuff. Whereas the physics and stuff all yeah, it's looks a lot more better seamless. in these ones, aren't um, they? And they're just really cool, and they're quite long yeah. actually. Um, they're really good, and they yeah. really add to the story as well. Because I must admit, I've I've never sort of read quests or anything like that. I've just wanted to level and um, and get pretty mm. things because. Um, stereotypical woman um, but it's really good because I want to know who the people are in these in-game cinematics I want to you know want to know who they are what they do yeah. and yeah yeah it I creates, want to know more about the law really, really creates does. characters isn't it like really does gives you an insight into them yeah what do you think well here's what I, I think I, I am are you ready you ready for some big, big balls, of, balls opinion. of opinion? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm calling them. I'm sticking by that. I think they're amazing because, like, uh, I remember from like the vanilla days, you just it, it'd just be kill twenty of these, kill twenty of these, next quest, kill twenty of these, and this one, it's like giving you gaps in between that. Giving you a little, like, yeah. giving you a variation all the time. They've massively improved the quality of it. So, in the last one, it's, yeah, as I say, it's just that, like, the in game models, it's some developer just pressing record yeah. and then moving forward a bit. Whereas this one, it's like they're trying to make everything, everything seem realistic. Like, there's a bit where one of the mages casts, casts like a spell and you can see all the weight mm. behind the thing as he flings it forward. So I like that, and um, I think Blizzard are really just trying to get everyone more into the story. It, it really 
that getting into the story stops the game being just like a, a spreadsheet or just something you try to you know you're just trying to add numbers to your character it it just puts life into the whole game and I think the, the trailers are I just yeah, so it's not it, as so if you have I to really kill 20 like of these. It's like, well, why do I have to kill 20 of them? Just yeah. because you have to to level. It's like you have yeah. to kill 20 of these because you're, you know, you're working towards something bigger and better and you're helping such and such and you're working towards, you know, such and yeah, such. So and it's just more submersive, I think. Submersive, immersive. Same thing. Same thing. Immersive, Heather. <laughs> We're not. It's not the submarine it expansion like underwater. Submarine. You're diving into a load of floor. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I suppose. It's so yeah, it makes it immersive. Um, <laughs> just things like the, the they've got like uh, weather. So they've got like sunsets, and then they, you know, there's one trailer where the grass is swaying. It, you wouldn't think these. Those things like that yeah, make a difference, do. but they make a massive difference, I think. Um, and and they've they've tried to do it like a like a film as well, like an action film. Like you get that feeling when you you know you're in a film and, and you're all hyped up. You got loads of coke and popcorn in you, and you on the edge of your seat. I I really thought I well, got they, that, but that might be just me. Well, they just look like they've really a, thought a wow about fanboy. it. Um, choreograph some of the scenes as well by the looks of things, and it just looked like they they thought about yeah. it. Yeah, I think even though it's been such a long time, I think this is probably what they were doing. They just try, just there's yeah. been a lot of time and effort gone into these, and I, I think it's probably going to be worth it. Especially, they've actually uh, a few of the YouTubers have been saying every, I don't know whether it's every single or, or most of the quests in the game, apart from the trivial quests on the side, a, a voice now as well which is going to really help so when you go to your quest giver it doesn't impede the flow as well because you get your quest and then you wander off doing your quest yeah. and the voice stays That's with you good. You know, so you can just go about doing it and you, I think you'll probably be able to skip it as well if you want like sort of like Diablo but I think it's a bit better than Diablo because I was just oh, click off of Diablo man. so Yes, yes, I'm a clicker offer. Um, so yeah, I think the way they're integrating the lore into into the, the gameplay is really going to help. And I think uh, a piece of advice to everyone: try and like you should try and listen to these things. Because since I've started learning about the lore, I've got way more interest in the game, and uh, and I'm yes, much yes. more of a sweaty gamer. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, in a way, I'm sort of. A little bit upset that I've watched them though, because it would have been really cool to actually. Yeah. I know. I know, but really I, cool I couldn't to help myself. Finish whatever quest you're on, and then see it. Yeah, actually yeah. seeing the in game cinematic. Seen the thing. But they are really cool. Um, but if you don't want to watch them, I think you should hold off and then um, and wait until until launch. Mm. But they are really cool. So that's the in-game cinematics. They're cool, and look forward to them if you haven't seen them. If you don't care about spoilers, yeah. just go watch them because they're amazing. Next, Lords of War. Um, I don't know what they call like animated. I think they yes, call them an an they do, yeah. animated series. Now you've seen the latest one. I haven't actually seen this because I forgot to watch just before the show. But you said. You not I do. you like this series as a whole, didn't you? But no, this one, this I one's not like your favourite. But um, you like it. it. I think it's more that I don't know that much about the guy. Um, my bad. My um, bad. I don't. It's got a cool. Oh, he has, good things. I, I, got a cool I, I just don't know that much about him. Um, and I, I assumed that it was um, just going to be the warlords. So it is actually quite nice that they're actually focusing on other characters as well. Um, it looks like this is probably the first one where it's given like an insight to saying we're looking not just looking at the warlords but we're I, looking I at really all the key like players that. in this exactly. expansion I really like it um, because yeah. he's at the start of has he been in the start of each one so far I think he has hasn't he um, he's um, been in the start like explaining um, you know each of the warlords 
Yeah, Mirage. Oh, I see. Yeah, I don't know. He's yeah, been at he's, in at least one him, or yeah. two of them that I can remember. So, um, so he has been in it, and I have wondered yeah. who he is because I, I actually don't know who he is. And um, so it is quite nice to um, to see his background. So um, if you haven't already seen it, and he came out, yeah. I think two days ago. Um, basically, it was mm. um, that there was a big battle, obviously because the warlords came over and started like kicking the shit out of everybody. What? No spoilers. Oh, Just okay. you know, um, little, 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 little preview. So he's a cool, he's yes, a cool, he is. badass dra um, people drenai, come in, isn't he? Uh, The warlords come in and then start, you know, um, beating them up. And so he's asked to go and um, mm. save sort of women and children. And he does mm. that. Well, he doesn't do that, but he goes to go get them. And then he sees a load of the big ass guys, you know, killing sort of like his friends and everything. And he decides to take revenge. So he tells the women and children, the path is clear, you go alone, I'll catch up with you. And they're all like... The path is clear, exactly. get yourselves but to then safety. One of the women was, yes, thank yeah. you. And one of the Does women was like, but we don't have any weapons. Yeah. And he said, it's absolutely... She was but young. we don't have any weapons. Um, <laughs> How is that a young woman? <laughs> Uh, I, I've had tea and it's interfering with my vocal cord. Young woman. Ooh. No, you can't. I can't so the young it. woman says we haven't got Carry any weapons. On. And he's. I am a young woman. Do the voice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Carry on. Uh, and he says it's absolutely fine. The path is clear. You can go. Just follow the light. And so they go off and yeah. he decides to take revenge on these guys. Uh, kills them all, and Whoa. yes. So then he goes to try and Big find mistake. women, children, and old people, and finds that they've been slaughtered. And it was his job to keep them oh, safe. Oh no, Marad, what, what are you doing? So, um, he's pretty upset with himself, as you would be, um, and so mm. he basically said. Mm. Um, I am willing to sort of, you know, kick their asses because um, I regret what I did. You mean he, he wants to take? Well, I don't know if it's so, so much revenge because that was the reason that they all died in the first place is because he wanted to take revenge. But I think he's willing to to fight so that that never happens again, so that they don't go, you know, into somebody else's uh. town, as it were, and um, and it all happen again. He wants to try and stop that. Right, so overall, um, cool one on Mirad. Lords of War animated series, very good. Another tool to get you more hyped up for the expansions, because I am massively in favour of preparing, because I think the more you prepare for the expansion, Definitely. the more that you'll enjoy it. So that's why it's very important to get your BlizzCon mm -hmm. ticket, virtual ticket, do that. Um, we're actually going to um, we've we've got a whole guide planned on we how have. to prepare for Warlords of Draenor. Um so we'll have that out soon as well. Top top thirty ways to prepare. So feast your eyes on that and then so you can get all hyped up and enjoy the expansion two hundred fold. Yes. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Right, next. So next piece of news. Um, yes. Undeleting characters. So Blizzard have come out and said this week that they're going to come out with some feature where you can undelete the characters that you've deleted yes. by accident so and you want them back. Basically, this is so that your ex girlfriend or boyfriend, if they decide to delete your characters, um, yes. you'll cry your eyes out yeah. um, and never get them back. But Blizzard have said, no, mm. it's okay. You can get them back. Just yeah. don't worry. So all the X's are going on. Oh, exactly. Shit. How am I going to get my own back now? How the hell am I supposed to? I'm going to have to just. I'm just going to have just to, gonna have to stab him now, aren't I? Something like that. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah. That's worse than a stabbing. I'm thinking this has come like straight after, say, 
who's he called the top guy like, like Tom Chilton or Chris Metzen or whatever um, someone like he's just had a, like recently mm-hmm. been a bit of a player and you know he might have messed around and one of his lady friends has gotten happy and so something mm-hmm. has gone wrong with his characters so he's coming to work the next day nine o'clock like this expansion's you know it's going along okay isn't it we got some spare time haven't we we can fit another feature in can't we Please? anyone yeah <laughs> and he's basically like we were going to have something like another raid and he's gone, no, forget that. We need to do this undeleting characters thing straight away. Yeah. You Within team 40 days on it now. It was only a level 44. So he... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, quickly. So I, I think it's one of the top guys. Uh, something's gone wrong with one of the characters. So they'll be like, oh, we definitely need a new feature. Because they're nice what? guys. They don't do that to their wives. And families. Oh, okay. They don't! I'm sure they don't. Yes, so, but that's what I think it is. Um, but not it really. It is a good feature. But, yeah. I mean, it's they have feature, said that there's exceptions, so if your character's under level 10, or if you're a Death Knight, if it's under level 55, you can't get it back, because there's no point, really. Um, and I think yeah. it said if yeah. you're under level 45... I think you can only get it back if you deleted it within 90 days and then there's other rules but I think if you're level 80 or over or it might have been 70 or over then it doesn't matter when you deleted it you can get it back whenever which I think is really good especially if say you had an alt you got a bit sick of them you deleted them and then you thought shit actually yeah I miss him well, I miss her, him. Um, and my main is now mm. um, not as enjoyable to play, or I don't think I want to use him as a main in, in the next expansion. I want my old one back. So, I think it's really good. Mm. Really good idea. Yeah, and um, they must probably they're going to charge for this, know. aren't they? You don't think? Do you reckon? Maybe like twenty quid a thing. Yeah, and basically they're, they're not doing the under te- level 10s and level 55s. It's basically they're not going to do any admin for people who can just level but something up in a few really hours. they can't charge for it. I don't think they can. That's, that's the reasoning. If they were going to charge for it, um, there wouldn't be much point because you'd just buy a level 90. Yeah, oh yeah I suppose. Well, it depends on the pricing, but I, I think being Blizzard... They do charge for quite a few things, you know. Name yeah. change is like a tenner. That's rubbish. So, Depends I'm saying, how much you like I'm saying charge. Of your character, I guess. Done it. Yeah, but yeah, it's pretty unexciting yeah. news. So we're going to move to the next one. Yes. <laughs> yeah, covered. So, yes. um, new Garrison's blog. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah. 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 Not really, because um, it's basically all stuff we already know. Uh, that there's going to be garrisons, and they're going to be tiered. You can pay to upgrade them. They have they're plots. Expensive. You get more plots. They've got features. They're going to be integral to the the game, and all this. And uh, so basically, it's that that's all, all they said in that blog. That they they give a bit more information about tiers. They said something about the mage tower, like you can have. You know, put your mage tower in it, and it's gonna have portals, mm. so you can port all over the place. Um, so yeah, garrisons are a thing. I'm, I don't know if I'm excited about them. I'm not excited about them, but I'll definitely do them because see, it's another way of getting see, gear. Um, so it's not a feature. I'm like, I can't wait well, to, to honest, get my garrison. Yeah, it's that thing sorry. though. I was gonna say that. Go on, you go. <laughs> Thank you. Um, go on. I wasn't that psyched about it until I watched those um, in-game cinematics, actually. Because there's an in-game cinematic for the yeah. Horde garrisons and the Alliance garrisons. And um, oh, it actually made actually. me um, mm. a bit more excited for them. Yeah. 
Because it shows you, um, you know, leveling up and getting a bigger plot and whatnot, and also like all of your trophies on the wall and stuff. And mm. it actually looks pretty good. It looks better than I thought it was gonna. It's still not amazing, but mm. um, it, it, I'm a bit excited about it. I just wish I could get some cushions right, and maybe throws I watch and that stuff. Then. I know it's that's the main thing with it. Like Some it plant should pots. have been more customizable, and that's all due to. And uh, this might be a bit sexist, but all the developers, you know, they're like forty-year-old guys. Just get a girl in there. I mean, or even even a, a guy that's not, you know, like mo most guys that they're, they're like me, basically yeah. power hungry, and so it's all about leveling up and getting better and stuff. But Every now and then, and I don't think guys realise it, but you do like to just sit back yeah. and customise something, you know, make some make That's something your transmog. own. That's why you've got Transmog. And it's... I yeah, guess that's a power mode, thing yeah, as well. I just think they should have done it with garrisons, but no negativity. No, I am, garrisons I am really are going to be wicked. To them, and I think in future okay, they've next something feature. to build upon as well. Because I think people are going to be complaining because they want to be customisable. Uh, they want it to be more customizable, so I think they, mm. they've at least got something to work on next time. And they do, they do look good, and I think that they can yeah. work on it, definitely. And I think they will as well. Well, I hope so. Um, so that's it for Garrisons. Right, cool. well, um, the other thing was that you need to start downloading the background stuff. So um, get your downloads on. Yes. Otherwise, it'll take ages. Yes. So. That means, yeah, patch 6.0 is coming. It's probably going to be uh, next few weeks, if not, you know, like even next week, if, if it's already on the background downloader. And also, there's only about a month until mm. it actually comes out. And so we could, and there's going to be like a bit of a dungeon in the in the next in patch 6.0. So they could do with releasing yeah. it in the next two weeks, really. And if it's yeah, if it's on the back. Get downloaded. Download it should be out soon. So yeah, it it can cause a bit of problems. Like if you want to play Diablo, then um, or or Starcraft, for some it, if you do need to update those games, it gets in the way mm. of that. But you can just pause it. So if you find that Diablo and Starcraft aren't updating, just put it on pause, and then yep. you can download the other ones. <laughs> so boring trivia. Next, yes. um, Titan, Project Titan. Uh, for anyone that's been under a rock, Titan was one of their big game projects that they have been working on for seven years, and they've announced this week, about this week, that their uh, development's just cancelled on that. Of their lives. It's just gone cancelled. down the pooper. Yep. Seven just years, about gone. 30 people's lives. So, yeah, and they. But the good thing that comes out of it. Is that they've transferred those staff onto WoW and a few onto other things, and um, they've increased their staff for World of Warcraft. I think they said something like 80 people, 80 more That's people, cool. or 60 more people are working on WoW now. So they said, you know, that these yearly expansions they might be yeah. uh, starting to be a bit of a possibility, which would be wicked. And I would lap it up. I would buy an expansion <laughs> every week, especially if, if it was about it. garrisons. And decorating. Hell yeah. It's like the Sims yeah. just keep yeah. buying expansions. Exactly. Yeah, they should do it like, like the Sims. They're releasing that fast. I will give the I'll just I'll set up a subscription. I'll give them I think what what wouldn't I pay? No you wouldn't. I think would I'd probably not. pay hundred pound a month. Which in dollars, if you're doing the currency exchange that it works does. out to a thousand dollars. Your calculations are correct. Yes, that's maths. Yep. True maths. <laughs> calculations. Um. But <laughs> yes. No more. So yeah, Titan. Um. That. That's cancelled. I don't know much are about it sad? to be honest. Obviously, because you've asked a question about it before. Well, everyone. I think basically everyone was just hoping it was going to be WoW too. You know, upgrade graphics. But then what would the, what would be the point in WoW? Um, just the dream, exactly. Yeah, you got those problems. I, I There's was a bit good. Possibility good, to be of honest, another big game. Just, just wanted, yeah, another big Blizzard thing, and it was something to look forward to. Thought at BlizzCon, like, 
oh yeah it's actually going to come out halfway through next year and it's a big yeah. complimentary game to WoW or something you know, know. it could, could have been anything I'm sorry but oh well I just feel like there should, should have been some sort of you know there funeral probably for was. it it was just also uh, it was just all so sudden it just came up on them just came up on MMO Champion, it, just like, oh, it's gone. You'll get oh. through it. I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. You'll be fine. <sighs> anyway, um, it's sort of been resu resurrected as this thing called Prometheus, which is uh, a few of the staff have been transferred onto this new project. So hopefully it will be a good thing and won't just be an alien yeah, like prequel alien game. Yeah, like things coming out of people's stomachs. Like, you know, like Prometheus, yeah. Uh, so, so we done. Oh, I've got background downloader. Yes, please. Let's cover there that is. Again. So, There's get downloaded. Being added. <laughs> 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 that's the next piece of news. Um, yeah. So that's basically all the news I think that is worth talking about. But you know, if you want some more, if you're still hungry for more news, get on MMO Champion. Yeah. And um, definitely fill your boots. So, um, yeah, only other, other thing I wanted to mention is, yeah, we will be coming out with that um, 30 ways to prepare for Wall of the Draenor, and uh, I think it's it's pretty handy. If I was a random person, like you, listener, I would want tips from me. Really? James Malarkey. Oh, yeah. Because, um, <laughs> as you can tell by my voice, <laughs> I'm very wise. And, and old now as well. See, it was your things. birthday the other day. And people know me. It was. It was my birthday. Yeah. So, um, so 30 ways that... Well, we're uh, going to be doing I them. I think they'll help. Um, it, it's basically... It's things that are going to help you um, enjoy the game more, for one. Um, we've, we've tried to give some, some good tips to get some gold together, re ready for the expansion. Um... Well, we yes, basically that's, told that's you you need gold tips. for the expansion, yeah. so that's that's one of the tips. Spoilers, um, and also, what, you know what to expect when once you're in there, what what you might need, um, and uh, yeah, just just ways to make your whole experience yeah, so better. Yeah, so basically, it's just first tips out. on things to do until warlords, things you need to do in game, or things yeah. we we think you should you should do that'll yeah be helpful. So that's going to come up on, on, yeah, that, that's going to come up on Twitter and also if yes. you s subscribe to us, just keep an eye on there. Right, next, let's go into Azeroth Rhyme Time. Are you ready to get your brain head uh, on have again? Have we not got that's an thing, week? But yeah. Well, of course we have. I was just <laughs> testing. So yeah. let's do the issue Which of the is... week. Which is right. So. What I wanted to talk about is, so there's all these cinematics and they're doing the full voiceover thing yep. and they're just getting everyone into the lore, right? Um, they haven't had this so far and what they've really focused yes. on before is gameplay. So they really sort of refine all the mechanics for the raids, not so much the quests and they're just like, oh, let's put some quests in there and then wait until they all get up to the important bits, the raids and, and PvP. Um, so it begs the question. That is English. Check out that. That's English. That um, begs the question. What's more important, gameplay that's a tough question. or law? I think there will be a massive yeah. divide between wild players on that. Yeah. Between the player base. Official opinion. Is this your official opinion? Um, okay, I'm ready. Go on, keep I going. don't know. I mean. What do you think? What do you prefer? Have you got a preference? Um, well, I think your I mean your preference so far I is don't know, law. basically gameplay because you don't no. It's not that I don't, don't do, do law, law, do you? It's just that I haven't done law. <laughs> um that's not to say I wouldn't like it. Yeah. Um because I do because yeah. um you've started getting into law the past couple of months, haven't you? And it is only the past couple of months even though you've played yeah. for years. And as you've been picking it up, I've I've been um mm. I've been listening to you, you talk and so. 
um, pretty much. So and like, um, <laughs> I think it is interesting, yeah. and I would like to learn a lot more. And um, especially with these in-game cinematics yeah. and things like that, it is interesting. Um, so I think lore is definitely mm. important because it sort of, I don't know, it sets the scene and also, um, I can't speak anymore. <laughs> no, you're right. Yeah, it sets the scene. So I think with, with World of Warcraft, I think in the past, they ha they've had quite a few people obviously employed full time to do the lore and everything, but there's only one sort of medium that they can get that yeah. to the people, which is through the quest text. But I think now, as they're starting to, I don't know whether they're getting yeah. more funding or they're just using it in a different way. But they you know they're putting it out in they're managing to put it out in other ways. So through these cutscenes and add into the voiceover it could be that they've just seen from other games like Star Wars and stuff that yeah, it definitely. is a feature that people really like. It makes really it a lot like. more accessible it makes it a lot easier um, because yeah. I, I must admit I hate reading tiny writing on the screen. I'd rather just click off it and then yeah. you know just get on with it get leveled yeah. and then and start you know doing bosses and whatnot. Um so I think that if they are going to voice it mm. like um, like you know, we expect it. It really will help, but at the moment, for me, it is about yeah. gameplay. But that's because I haven't had that much experience yeah. with law, yeah. so I couldn't really, really comment. I think there's, there's, there's a few different arguments because you could say that people are just more naturally inclined to different styles of pay gameplay. So mm. you got your heroic raiders. And they will definitely say, well, gameplay, you know, what's the point in listening to a load of lore mm. when you can level much faster if you don't? Um, and then other people, you know, like the people who work for WoW Insider and yeah. stuff, they are completely all about the lore. And that they can spend hours talking about it. And that's, and, yeah. But the good thing is WoW's got both of them and you can get involved um, in all sides. But what I would say is to anyone who hasn't, who hasn't, got involved in, in the law side of it which I'm sure it, I, I think is probably the majority of players because for me I basically can't read <laughs> so uh, so I've only started picking it up recently because there's yeah. been, there's so much content out there now um, of like YouTubers and people who've covered it in, in different formats and that's basically how I've picked it up through listening to YouTubers like uh, Noble he's, he's basically yeah, he's the, like the, the godfather of law and um, yeah, um, and th there's quite a few other, you know, beginners guides to law. I might have something up there on the wall, but <laughs> yeah. you don't have to yeah, listen to that. Uh, yeah, that wasn't a desperate that's, plea. That's the best one. Um, <laughs> no, but like, in order to do that though, it, it isn't. No, it isn't. It isn't that accessible. But like when I was trying to find something to just uh, pick it up from you know start to finish just a summary that there was just nothing it was all sort of pieces everywhere so what I tried to do with the, that video series is just actually catch you up and just provide you a summary and I just for, for those ones who are completely law reverse I, I've done that just three minute three minute video just to give you a quick summary and then if if anything sort of sparks your interest just go to that yeah. section and then just pick up bits here and there and you, what you find is that it sort of starts something and then it, it becomes sort of contagious and then you want to think oh well what happened there what happened there and then but you end up just getting the full story anyway. It is actually anyway. really interesting because then you start to um, sort of get the background on the classes and um, and, and, and things like that yeah. so then if you're choosing a new character um, you might be able to associate with them and um, and actually um, be yeah. able to relate to them, and then you know you might have a preference then for your character, and and maybe you know your, your, the starting zone and some things like that. So it is interesting. Yeah. And it's something I definitely want to get into. I'd say. I reckon as a as an answer because I don't want to leave it on just you know some middle ground. For you. As an answer to which is more important, I'd say. If you like, if if you're naturally inclined to like stories, you know, like if anything, 
like say you're a person who goes on Netflix and watches loads of mm. series likes that type of thing then you'll definitely get into the law and if you don't like reading do it through other ways so YouTube and stuff like that so in that way I'd say you, if, if you like that stuff you are a law person so law is more important yeah. in, in terms of that person um, but if you're a person that likes doing things maybe you're sporty or whatever and you you yeah. like constantly getting better with things it's gonna it's definitely gonna be gameplay you can't enjoy but that doesn't mean um that you'll probably end up being like me because the yeah the ga gameplay is the first thing and then you go on to lore afterwards and that yeah. that ends up enhancing the gameplay so in summary definitely. i think it depends on the person definitely i think yeah I think um, agreed. I think it will agreement? be a big split with the people what they prefer, but I think it should. I think it is a little bit of each. I think it is a little bit of both. Yeah, definitely. But it's, I, I think it's just yeah. a spectrum. Yeah. A spectrum of where you a are. A spectrum, indeed. <laughs> oh god, I'm annoying myself. Um, but yeah, all in all, though, I'm. I was very angry at Blizzard for putting this time delay, you know, between the the patches and 6.0 mm -hmm. only coming out a year after Siege of Orgrimmar. But after watching all these videos, they've swung me back round again. They've they've wooed wooed me Blizzard with all their lore nuggets. And, and I am I'm actually really I'm really excited for it. it. And I have I hope, completely forgotten yeah. all of well, not so much forgotten all of the moaning because I did do a lot of moaning. But you know, like. <laughs> yeah. I think we've spent about. You know, the majority of our podcasts have. moaning that we haven't. I think. I just want more stuff to do. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, so sorry. we're sorry if we've got anyone down about that. <laughs> right. So yes. let's move on to our last feature. <laughs> uh, yes. Are you ready to be quizzed again? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I hope everyone yes. at home has got their pens and paper do ready it. as well. Do it and let, let us know. How do you know? Oh, I don't know. I'm not stalking oh, five pe yes. four people that listen to us. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's go. Um, okay, so Azeroth really? Rhyme Time, I'm calling wow it. Rhyme Time. Yeah, I thought Wow Rhyme Time was a bit too short. I like Azeroth Rhyme Time. Um, so in this game, I'm going to help Heather learn a bit more lore through the use of rhyming and poetry. So... Basically, yes. I, it's I a complete the rhyme game. Last week. Not um, last week, sorry, the last podcast. Okay, so I'm not going to do an example question this this one, um, but because you know how to do it. But the people at home don't yet. So the first one is sort but of the example for for you guys. And yeah, but it is a real one, and it's pretty. I mean, I, oh, I God, think a three year old could that. get this game, and that's why. Oh. That's why it was no. I oh, didn't say get yeah. the answers. Just get how to do the game, um, but oh, also geez. get the answers. So if you don't okay. get it, you're stupid. No Let's go. <laughs> right. So, um, I was. It was quite loud. I need to just say it was. It yeah. was quite loud in in Cafe Nero when I was writing these. So they're not. They're not written as well as last time. You know, they're not in iambic pentameter <laughs> or anything. So. No, sorry. Iambic pentameter, don't you know what that is? Oh, I, I don't really. I, it's just from English, I remember. It's it's something <laughs> that makes poetry good, I remember. <laughs> right, That's so... Terrible. I've never heard of that before. Okay. I'm going to go. Yeah, I am. Right. The law of war... Wait, I can't speak. Oh, we're starting again. <laughs> the Lord of war character this week wears a tabard. Yeah. He's big Marad. and blue. And his name is. Way, 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 way. Got it. Right. So the full thing was the Lord of War character this week wears a tabard. He's big and blue, and his name yeah. is Marad. One point. That was easy I because you watched it. Basically, yeah. you watched it today. So twice. Okay. So. Um, I know him like so well. Right. We didn't actually mention this, so this is going to be okay. uh, tough. I, I, just as, as a prequel to this, I'd say 
um, that a mount came out this week and it's this cool fire horse mount but you can only get it through recruit friends so it's basically another purchasable mount yeah I don't know I don't know it yeah but okay. you, you know you want it you want, it's not related to that but it, it is included in the rhyme okay so info came out about a mount mm -hmm. as hot as the sun yeah and uh, and also part two sun. of the stuff about your Gary <laughs> oh shit I didn't mean to give you the first part of that <laughs> That was a bit easy. Uh, okay, well, everyone's got a point there. I, th I should mention to the listeners at home that it's half eleven at night here and I've had too much caffeine and chocolate. So. Uh, yeah. Right, well, you got two points. They were basically given to you. Weren't both the rhymes? Ready for the both next the one? Both the rhymes, son. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Uh, okay. <laughs> Um, Blizzard dropped a game because it was a bit shitin. <laughs> What's going to be the rhyme? It's Seven tightened. years of work, it was project. Titan, <laughs> well wasn't done. It? <laughs> it was a bit shitin. <laughs> also going, it was a grind fest. Good riddance to you, you bastard. It was the legendary. Quest. That did not rhyme at all. Quest, yes. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry. The, the syllables didn't really go. I know. Uh, coffee shops are horrible. They're supposed to be shop. like stress free, but then it's just like bang, oh, bang, 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 so bang, bang, bang. While they're making coffee. So much bang. It's awful. Oh, God. Well, you're still not getting this last one. You ready? Um, I've, got a, I've got to go now to meet a friend who's boring. He's a cow, you know. In WoW, his race would be... Thorin? I don't know. <laughs> We're not... It's not the Hobbit. <laughs> Different thing. Yeah. Right, there's a race that oh, are cows. Oh, shit, yeah. Okay. Wait, okay. Well, I don't know don't it. Don't just say it. you got to complete the rhyme. So, I've got to go now to meet a friend who's boring. He's a cow, you know. In WoW, his race would be... Torin. T. Torin. Yeah. <laughs> I gave you a T. Okay, well, yeah, that's, we'll give you that's four and a half. Yeah. That's that's gonna be your highest score yet. Okay, so here's the full it complete was good rhyme. crap rhyme. Oh right. No, okay. I'm gonna. I'm doing yeah. the whole rap. Yeah. Okay. So you got to say it. Right. So the Lord of War character this week wears a tabard. He's big and blue, and his name is Marad. <laughs> oh my God! Thank you. <laughs> okay, info came out about a mount as hot as the sun, and Garrison. part two of the stuff about you, Gary. <laughs> Gary Garrison. Gary Garrison. Blizzard dropped a game because it was a bit shite. Seven years of work, it was project. Also going, it was a grind fest. Good Quest. riddance to you. It was the legendary. <laughs> I've got to go now to meet a friend who's boring. He's Torin. a cow, you know. His race would be. Boom! Boom! Oh, we need some pew, Falcon pew, pew. sound effects or something. <laughs> Smash something. Yeah. That will sound that good. That exhibit. <laughs> bullet, bullet, bullet. Okay. <laughs> On that note, um, yeah. we're signing off because we got yeah. no more features. We, we've no. not planned any more. Go to bed. So let's, yeah, Thank let's you. go. Go to sleep. Thank you for listening. I'm sorry it was so crap we this tried. week. <laughs> we do but, try. Yeah, we tr we we do try. <laughs> Okay, so have fun playing WoW, and we'll see, see you, you when we next do a podcast. Bye!